Hello everybody, it's Lorraine here again. Um, today I'm going to make a box. I've made this card. Um, I made it actually, it's for my mum for Mother's Day in England. Mother's Day is in March. So I've made this card and as you can see it's got some depth to it. So I didn't want to post it from Greece in an envelope. I wanted to give it a little bit of um, height so that it will protect it a little bit. The card I'm really pleased with. It's um, the, one of the first ones that I've made that's a dimensional card. And uh, the background paper is from Artie Maisie's kit, Back to Nature. Um, and I'm sure that my mum's going to, to love that when she receives it. So I'm going to make a box. I've already prepared um, the card ready to, to do the box. I've got the base, the base, sorry, and the top card here. Um, I've made them, the the base one, sorry, the top one is going is ever so slightly larger than the bottom one so that it'll slide over properly. Um, and what I've done, because it's quite plain paper, I'm using the blue for the base and the cream for the top. And um, so what I've done, I've already scored the card. I've measured the card and it fits inside of here. And then the bits that are going to be the lip on the box are one and a half centimetre on either side. So what you do, what I do first, I've scored it as I've said. And what you do, you cut up to your score line there and here and then turn it around again up to the score line and up to the score line again so there's um, it's ready now to just fold so before I, before I fold this one, I'm going to stick this on top. Just because it's a very plain box, plain looking box, I'm going to stick this paper on. Um, it, it isn't exactly the same as um, the paper that I've used on the card, but the theme's the same. It's got the butterflies on it and the colours uh, match. So I'm just going to stick that on before I build that little bit of a box. And I'm using... My favourite uh, glue which is Cosmic Shimmer uh, and the reason I like this is because it works. Um, so I'm just going to glue all around the edges and then in the middle I'm going to do this. Now you can if you wanted to, you could, you could spread that out so that it's fairly even um, but I don't. So here goes. And I'm going to just try and place it in inside where the lid of the box will be. And then using my bone folder just to smooth it down. You can use a glue stick. I did get my glue stick ready. But with it being a card rather than paper, I just thought it needed a little, a little bit of glue that was a little bit more um, heavier, if you will. And, I, and this this works on up everything that I use really. I use this quite quite a lot. So I'm just going to place it over there now, just to for the glue to set, and I'll start on on this one. So again, up to the fold line, just cut that and that one just along where you've scored it, and again. On this one and this one and now you can do the folds make sure you've got your card the right way around when you're doing it and I'm just going to straighten out those folds so we're having a strange day weather wise here in Greece um, it's at the moment sunny but cool not as cool as lately but cooler 
but it has been raining and thundering. There we are. Last night it rained nearly all night, but then we need, as I've said before, we need the rain, so I ain't complaining. So they're all the scored edges now. I've folded up with the bone folder. And what I'm going to do, I hope this is in shot, but the, the little flaps here on the corners, I'm just going to take a slice off there. It's just so that when you fold it in, I'm just cut that because it's going to rip. When you fold it in, it just fits uh, a little bit snugger, so it's it's better that way. So there we go. So yeah, strange weather at the moment, but I mustn't complain because my daughter sent a video of home where we live in England, and it's snowing. So I'd much rather have cold cold weather with. Just a little bit of brain. I wonder if the weather's okay where you are. And I see all the posts on Facebook and YouTube and people talk about the weather in their homes, what a variety we get. Okay, so now I've done that, so what you need to do is fold in these little corner flaps here and glue them. Just, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue just on that tab there and place it in the card, in the box there. And that makes your corners. I'm just going to put a little bulldog clip in just until the glue sets, just to hold it in place. And you just repeat that the whole way around for the four corners. Just get that straight. It will look nasty. So again, tiny little bit of glue there. And again, the bulldog clip just hold it in place while it sets. There we go. So this is me having a break from junk journaling. I usually do lots of junk journals. Um, or the ephemera for junk journals but I just wanted a change so it's been card making and I've been making some notebooks as well I haven't got one here on the desk but I think there's one in reach so I'll show you the notebook that I've made as well lately the sketch pad it is so this you're just going to leave to dry um, no I can't reach the sketch pad without knocking the camera over so I'll have to show you that on another video so I'll just close that otherwise I'll have to be poking a big hole in again so the top's stuck down enough so again I've cut the four corners there I didn't take the slices off so I'll just do that now before I start just helps the folds uh, into the corner it's less bulky and it's the tiniest amount that you need to take off so. I'm making this card early because sometimes the post back from Greece to England takes an eternity I'm just going to smooth that down because there's a lump of glue there So you have to do things early to be really organised. My brother gets married in April and unfortunately I can't get across to the wedding. So I'll have to make their card and send that over really early. I tend to send the Christmas things out in November um, so, so that things can get there. And it's a lot easier sending presents via the internet. I don't like internet shopping. I'd rather use the money in local shops. And sometimes I do and send things across. But the majority of it, unfortunately, we have to buy online. Um, but that's how it is, isn't it? If you've got a... No, 
there is one part of the box ready and hopefully yes the card fits in it and it will be offered on I will put before I post it I will put some uh, tissue paper in as well and what I might also do I might strengthen these sides a little bit so again you're going to take the corners make sure that they're straight and put a little bit of glue on each corner they're really easy to make a card boxes they're uh, the hardest part is getting the measurements right and making sure that you've cut it to the right measurement um, otherwise you end up with little bits stuck up all over and then they don't look nice they don't look attractive So I'll leave that a couple of seconds to dry and then uh, that should be it. One box completed for one card posting. I'll just see if I can find that now for you. The sketch pad that I've made. There we go. And hopefully I didn't model the camera too much. So here it is, the sketchbook that I've made. I've just used um, cardstock. Um, I've used a little ribbon tie. So I've used cardstock and I've I've covered the the front of it with um, just PVA glue to give it a little bit of protection. Um, and inside, it's a double sided, but I have used two sheets and glued them together to give it some some extra strength. And I've used from a sketch pad, uh, um, a ring bound sketch pad, I've taken pages from there um, and I've stitched them in using a three hole pamphlet stitch so that they're in place. The stitching is here on the spine and there's I think about 60 pages in this little sketchbook um, and it's so cute I've just um, stamped the word sketch on a piece of card and that's holding on the ribbon ties and they're really clever I've made some for gifts um, I may put this one on on my Etsy store so have a look at my Etsy store and see there's all sorts of little bits and bats on there I have to sell some of them because I've no room for storing them all I make so much stuff especially in the winter months here so a little sketchbook. I made one for my husband because he, he likes sketching whilst he's out, out and about. Um, and he loves it. I made him one with a, a little pen holder on, um, and a pencil holder rather, for his sketch pencil. So that's really, really good. So let's have a see if this one, now the box lid and the moment of truth, hopefully it will fit. If I've got the measurements right. So there's the box lid. Um, da -da, there we go. So that's safe enough now to go in the post to England. I will strengthen it a little bit because it's a little bit flimsy and if I put it inside a jiffy bag it'll get squashed. But, um, but there we are. I'll strengthen that. And that's all ready for going. Hope you've enjoyed this video, please. If you've enjoyed it, give me a like. Maybe you'll consider subscribing um, and help me to build up my YouTube watch. Thank you very much. Happy crafting.